Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon back with another tutorial, and today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make this on the screen. And basically, what this is, this is an um, overlay, like a streaming overlay, and I'm gonna let this play out. And when it's done playing out, I'm gonna show y'all how to make it. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so the first thing you wanna do is go on the Cinema 4D. Then you wanna go to File, Open. And after this, what you wanna do is open up a Lightroom. I'm gonna open up this one right here. And I'm gonna give y'all a little turn. I'll turn one in the comment section, but just open up a Lightroom and Cinema 4D. So after this, what you wanna do is go over here to your Motex. Most people have like what it say, Motex right here. And you wanna click on that and you wanna put whatever name you wanna put. So I'm gonna just put Dragon on mine. And after this, I'm gonna go to the front and the front I'm gonna be using it on this is gonna call, it's gonna be called God of War. So you wanna download that front that I'm gonna leave in the description or if you already have it, just come in here and look for it and pick it so here it is right here so after that i'm using my scroll wheel to kind of like bag up with it so like you go up with your scroll wheel you zooming in and you go back with it you zooming out so what i'm gonna do now is show you how to add warp on your text so you want to go over here to the bend thing right here and you want to hold it and you want to go all the way to um wrap you want to click on that and then after you go to that you want to come down here and bring it about um, right here above the ticks. So if yours look like this, your depth is probably too high. This is what happened to me. So what you want to do, you just want to bring this all the way down. And I'm just dragging it down like so. And drag it about like um right here. After that, now what you want to do, you want to go back to the um, wrap, right? You want to go down here until you see this. And what you want to do is you want to kind of wrap it like this. And you want to mess with the um, radius, the height, and all this stuff with the wrap. But make sure you do the width right here. And come down here and kind of wrap it however you want to. And you come back up here with a 3D text also and pull it how you want. So I'm going to mess with the wrap a little bit. Because this is pretty much all you have to really know how to do with it. And I'll be back with y'all when I'm done like fixing it how I want to. All right, so now that I did my rap, I got something like this right here. And you can mess with the depth a little bit more if you want to, but that's pretty much how I'm gonna just do my settings. So now that you got this, what you wanna go do is go up here to edit render settings and you wanna go to save and just put whatever you want the text to be named. And you wanna also do your file location. You could do that by doing the three dots and put in your downloads and hit save like that. I'm gonna just keep my eye like that. I'm gonna exit it out. And then I'm gonna click this right here to render the picture viewer. And I'm going to let this render and I'm going to be back with y'all when it's done. Alright, so now that it's done, what you want to do is open up Photoshop. So I'm going to let this load up and I'm going to be back with y'all. Alright, so now that you're in Photoshop, you want to go to File, New, and you want to go to 1280 by 720 Now after that, you want to go to File, Open, and... Once you get in here, just go to your downloads, find this right here, and hit Control C on it, and come over here and hit Control V. So now that you did that, what you can do is just come in here, make this a little smaller, kind of have it um about this size. And now what I'm gonna do, and like, you can put any type of image on this, but what I'm gonna do is put the sky image on this. So I'm gonna go search this up and be right back with you all. And you don't have to be a sky. I'm probably gonna show you more than the sky. I'm gonna just show you how the sky look on here first. Now the first one I did a sunset, but I'ma just get a regular sky. So you wanna right click, copy your image, come over here to Photoshop, and then hit Control V. Come on here, create a clipping mask, put it to overlay. And what you can do after that is basically just put put it on here. And like I said, any image works on here. Now what I'm gonna do is go to blend the options and put an inner shadow on my text. Make the inner shadow white, make the distance about right here. And mess with the size and make the opacity a little bit more so you get this like little glow effect on top of it and that's pretty much how easy it is to add that little overlay on it but um yeah i'm gonna show you something else real quick too something like you can put other stuff on it all right so on this as you can see i added like another image of the ocean and you pretty much can get any image and put on here and put it on overlay and make like different type of style overlays with it and it's that simple so you can pretty much put anything on here just make sure you put it on overlay and have your little gray um, 3D text. 
and what I did down here was add like a color overlay to make the color pop out a little bit more with it but you can take it off or put it on but I'm gonna just keep my sky one and show you the example and if you want to do color overlay to make the color pop a little bit more you can but I'm gonna just do the regular version like this so now what you want to do now that you have this go to file export and export as and we're just gonna export hit export right here and I'm gonna name this file dragon sky too because I already did it before so now what we're gonna do is go in Adobe After Effects. We're gonna go to New Composition. And just click on this. And make sure you copy these settings. Now you can make it a little bit longer if you want it to look better, but just make sure you copy my settings frame rate on 30 with um, 1280 by 720. And your dur my duration right now is on 15 seconds. And now what you can do is go to File, Import. And you just want to go to wherever your file is. And after that, just click import once you go to it. So just drag it down. And now that you do this, hit control D on it. Go to the bottom layer. Go to layer, auto trace. Hit OK. You want to go to Saber. And drag this all the way down here. Go to render settings. Transparent. Then customize core, layer mask. You want to select Art Reactor. After that, you can go to this color picker tool and click like different colors on the image and pick what color you want to be behind here. And you can also mess with the glow intensity to make the glow look a little bit better and just stuff like that. You can mess with the core size and all that good stuff. And what else you can do is put like different glows on here. And when you want to put a different one, you can still go and select that color. So. It's pretty much up to you. I'll probably use a different one. I'm gonna just use this to show an example. You can use different ones and still make it look pretty decent. So what we're gonna do now is go to file, export, and then add to Adobe Media Encoder. I'm gonna let this load up. And it's another way to render it also. So I'm gonna show both ways in the video just in case. But yeah, let me show the other way first. So the other way is you wanna go to file and let me see where it is export and then add to render cube so now what you want to do have your render settings down here and i always pick best settings i put my quality at best resolution at full and just all this other stuff and then your output module down here you want to click on this select your format and you want to put that on quick time put your channels on rgb plus alpha and make sure it says millions of colors and it has the plus at the end and everything else should be good after that, you want to go output to, and this is where you're going to save your file to. So I usually output mine to my little drive right here. So I just named this Dragon Sky No CC. And the reason I put No CC because it let me know I didn't put CC light on it yet. But to render it, what you want to do is just click render, and you will let that render. And when it gets done, you will hear like a ding sound, and you can go check for the file, and it should be there. So Adobe Media Encode, on the other hand, though, it's a render in here. You just want to go to QuickTime by clicking on that. And I usually pick GoPro Sinform RGB 12 bit with alpha right here. And then right here, it's pretty much the same thing with the um, regular encoder down there. You just go select what you want to name the file. So I'm going to name this Dragon Sky No CC 1. And just click the render button. I'm going to let that render and I'll be back with y'all when it's done. Alright, so once it's done, what you want to do is go back to Adobe um, After Effects and you want to close this project. And then you want to go New Composition again, File, Import, and go to wherever you got your file saved up. Now I'm going to type in what I named it and get this right here, Import it. Then you simply want to come here. And then after that, you want to go to CC Lite and pick CC Lite Suite. Alright, so now that you got this right here. You want to drag this all the way over here, basically like over before you get to the um, overlay. And what you want to do, well actually drag it on here first so you can see something. 
So you, what you want to do is up the sweep intensity. And that's really all you got to do on this right here. And you want to drag it over here and click this clock right here. Hit you on your keyboard to keyframe it. And you can drag this all the way over here. About right here. Hit you on your keyboard. And then you can go back. To, I've seen somebody do this. You can go back to 15 seconds and drag it all the way to the beginning. Like where was it? And hit you again. And it should look something like this. So it should drag across slow the whole time. And then when it gets to the end, it'll come back real fast and restart. Now, I never really tried it, but you can do that effect on it if you want to. And yeah, you can have something like this and you can just go to file, a sport, add to Adobe Media Encoder and follow the same step. And once we get in here, we'll just wait for that to happen. And you wanna do the same thing, come on here. Dragon Sky. CC1 and you want to render that and I'll get back with y'all when I render it. So now that you're done rendering it, it should have a little check mark and say done beside it. So what you can do now is come back in here and I'm gonna throw in a little black screen. But to bring it in, you want to go to the plus symbol down here, click media source, then it's gonna pop up talking about create new, and you can just hit OK or name it. Then you want to hit loop and then go to a local file and hit browse. And you want to open up the file, so I'm gonna open this up. I actually made two versions, so I'm gonna open them up and be back with y'all. All right, so this is the first version right here, so I'm gonna let this play out. And if you made it this far, shoot, comment which version the best or something like that. But just let me know you made this far to the video. Uh, either leave a like on the video too, I appreciate that. But that's the first version right there. So if you like that, let me know. I I like the first version better. Feel me? I like the first version, but. This is the second one right here, so I'm gonna let this play out. And when it get done, you feel me? I'm in the video. But like I said, if you made this far, make sure you drop that like and subscribe and turn on post notifications too. Real talk, turn on post notifications. But this is the second version right here. And yeah, if this video helped you out, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, being boy dragon. Peace out.